So today in this activity, we're gonna be doing an exercise that allows us to see shapes and objects out of abstract blobs of paint. Stay tuned and let's do it together. Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. I'm Tammy. We're just gonna get right into it. I've got a mop brush, dimming it in water. We're just gonna start laying down color. Now, I have some watercolor paper here. I don't recommend that you can only do this kind of thing with watercolor paper. You can use whatever you want. Uh, the watercolor paper is great and it holds up well. Sometimes you can just have so much fun with a regular paper. <laughs> um, this is a cotton watercolor paper, so it's a professional grade watercolor paper and it's lovely, but we're not worrying so much about that today. We're just trying to put marks down on paper. And so this could be, oh, there's a little hair that happens sometimes. This could be flowers even take off some of that paint right now. You can lift some of that paint if you didn't know that. And what we're gonna do is add in some abstract shapes and then later on we're gonna go back in when it's dry with a watercolor or waterproof pen. And we're gonna start adding in the details to these marks so that we can see the florals. So if you're not sure what to paint and you are maybe having some painter's block or just feeling frustrated in your life for whatever reason, try doing an activity like this. So I cannot take credit for this. This comes directly from one of my followers, Penny, who was sharing with me in a comment how she will do some abstract flowers and just put down paint and then take her micron pen. So that's what we're doing today. I am gonna take, you know, just some little fun marks really loosely with this brush and, you know, just kind of see what comes out of it. I don't think we should try too hard to imagine what something is or what something will be. Uh, that way we can just get out of our, kind of that dead space where our brain is just, you know, really, really analyzing. And we're just right now trying to add marks on paper, enjoying this experience and just seeing what comes of it. So I'm dipping into some more saturated paint and I'm just going to add in some more brush strokes. Of course, these do look like flowers in some ways, but in other ways, just kind of some weird marks. Look at that, what is that? Who knows? And you can even take maybe your little sea sponge if you have one. I have a little piece right here and you could just dab into some of this and that hair is still trying to come by. And say hello. And we're gonna add in, you know, just some weird marks over here. So just have so much fun with it. I'm gonna even take a smaller brush. This is a number six round and just start adding some other types of marks. You could even take this and just kind of swirl it around and see what happens. You can even flick paint around and see what happens. Just enjoy that process. This is supposed to be something that is quick. It's not gonna take us a ton of time to do, but that it'll hopefully be stress-free. And I do wanna have you know some stemmy parts here because these are gonna be flowers, but this is an abstract exercise. So just make sure you're remembering exercise. What's the point of an exercise? And what does it really mean to exercise? When you're exercising your muscles, you are creating this muscle memory. You're strengthening your muscles so that you can do more things later on to be stronger, to you know maintain your bone density all those things and so there's some specific reasons why we exercise we're practicing we're getting better at something that we want to improve and i'm going to dip into my lovely turquoise or is it turquoise yeah this one's turquoise this one's more of a teal my turquoise paint and just start making some marks here it's such a beautiful color i really love it so as i'm looking at this i'm seeing some marks that obviously look like flowers. And then there's some other ones that, you know, we'll just have to do a little work with it. It doesn't have to be floral though. You can change this into whatever you'd like, honestly. Doing a little bit of dry brushing. I'm just dipping into, directly into the paint well. And so I don't have a lot of water on my brush. Just thought that the dry brush effect might be really pretty today. All right, so we're gonna let this dry and we're gonna start making our pen marks and then we can even add more watercolor as we see fit. All right, so this is all dry and we're just gonna start taking our pens and making some marks. So this is a really thin 
pen, and then I've got a thicker one as well. And we're just gonna start with a thin one, make some marks, and see what happens. So this is a really great practice for being in the moment. And I can see some of these shapes seem really obvious. And then others of these might be a little bit harder to figure out. And it's a really great practice for kind of being in that moment because you're looking at these shapes and you're just trying to analyze but in a thoughtful, playful way, you know, what, what it's going to be. And I think in our life, we spend too much time just kind of being absorbed with all the things that our brain is occupying at any given moment. And we start to fail to really see the beauty around us. And so I'm hoping that this can encourage you to see a little bit more of the beauty in in your life, the art around you, and all the things. And we can even add in some more watercolor. If you want to make it a little bit different, um, we can do that too. Just going to add in some cool little centers here. I thought it would be a side-facing flower, but it's, I don't know, it's sort of, maybe there's a petal missing or whatever. We've got some cool little, almost like cute little slap, snapdragon things. Slap dragons, what am I talking about? And I'm really in the present as I am just trying to figure out what everything is and making sense of it. Not that we have to make sense of it, but this is just the fun in this experiment. And I encourage you in your life too, if you're finding yourself absorbed with the worries and the reality of your life, which can be quite daunting, sometimes I'm gonna make these. Have more petals, cause you can guys add to it, make it wonky, make it your own, make it fun. Um, but I encourage you to try to live your, your life in a way that brings you more, that reminds you of the good that's going on in your life already. As a mental health therapist, I often get to tell people about being in the present in their life. And when you're finding that life is too stressful, we sometimes have to take a step back and reevaluate what exactly are our priorities and are we truly living in the moment or are we day to day really focused even when we're with our loved ones focusing on the, the to do tasks and the things that we shouldn't be doing and the things that we should have been doing and getting completely um, off focus of what our priority is with the people that we love and the things that we enjoy doing so this could be a great little activity just to remind you of what those things are. So guys, I'm, I'm not, you know, there's no rhyme or reason to this. I'm just supposed to have so much fun with this. I'm just adding in some sweet petals, some line details, and maybe we'll do some daisies. I just did a little rose here. And you know, the paint is outside the lines and that's okay. You don't have to worry about that. We don't need to worry about painting outside the lines or coloring outside the paint. When I was a little girl, I I didn't get the opportunity to just draw and paint creatively. I had coloring books, which was fine, but it never gave me the same experience as when you're creating something with your own hand like this, where it's just free form, fluid. And this is such an important task because you are in charge of the outcome of this, and you are really thinking deeply um, in some ways, hopefully not in a stressful way, but in some ways about you know where to put down your color and where to add your lines and all those things. And there's just so much beauty that comes out of a very abstract, you know, art activity like this. So I am seeing some tulips right here and I'm just gonna do a little bit of these petals here and a little bit of fluffy behind there and then I think another one right here would be good it looks like there's another guy just kind of hanging out here so we're we're not into spring yet but I mean feel like it's sort of close It'll happen soon enough. And so 
you know, we've got tulips going because, you know, Valentine's Day will be coming soon. And that's such a fun time to start bringing out those beautiful pinks, reds, and even those purples, which we consider, you know, Valentine's colors as well as lovely springy flower colors as well. So just take a look at where you're at right now. And if you want to add in anything else at this point before moving to the next part, I definitely want to add in uh, some more, some more thicker lines and maybe even adding in some just sweet flowers like that um, in between other flowers. And, you know, just allow yourself, your brain to just be excited to create something beautiful. And I even want to put just a few hearts in there. I don't know, felt right. There we go. Okay, so now what we can do is we can take our thicker pen, if you're up for it, and just create some more like contrast with some of these flowers in the centers, um, just really pressing in with that ink and making some cool marks. You can even make some of these a little bit thicker. You could take a Sharpie if you don't have this pen. And look at how beautiful this is coming together. I'm sure yours is gorgeous. It's a pretty simple exercise, but it really looks smart. And you know, if you really like it, you might even be able to frame it or give it away to someone you know that you care about. These guys here is having a little bit of a challenge. Just haven't been seeing exactly what this could be. I'm just going to add in my own version on there. So we have those. If you want to do thicker or thinner, that's fine. I'm going to take now my number six round and I'm just going to darken up some of the spots that I feel need a little bit more paint. So we're just going to kind of go around here and just make it real pretty. And I, I really hope that you can check in with yourself in this painting. And you know, if how do you feel right now as you're painting this? Let me know in the comments. Definitely like this video if you're enjoying it. Uh, make sure to subscribe as well and leave a comment. Let me know if you have an idea for a future painting where we can do some exercises like this, kind of abstract, just allowing our brains to relax and not stress out. Or let me know if there's something you've learned recently about being able to be in the present, something that I could share with others or utilize in my own life as well. So I'd appreciate any of your feedback. I appreciate you guys being here as well. And if you didn't know, I do have a Patreon account. And so that is all linked up in the bio if you wanted to work on more, you know, furthering on your journey in watercolor. I offer bonus content over there, exclusive tutorials, even live stream access, art prints, digital art files, um, private chat community, all those fun things. So link is in the bio if you're interested, but I'm just so glad that you're watching my videos. I appreciate all that support. And we're just gonna darken up a few of these spaces. Don't worry about staying in the lines. That doesn't matter. It really, really doesn't. Add some red over here. I'm noticing that this brush tends to kind of bead up and just doesn't really look at me just kind of going, going for it. Um, it doesn't really like to stay. Um, uh, the the paint just, what am I trying to say? Little drops of paint will get stuck on the end of it when I dip it into paint and then it just blobs on the paper. So these are the etcher brushes. I do love them. I don't love that part. But other than that, they're quite lovely and they're quite pointed. So look at this. I've really changed it around a lot. And feel free to do that with your paintings if you want to. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this darker pigment here, just still keeping with that abstract theme. So I'm not, I'm not trying to be too realistic, but just adding in a little bit more flair, a little bit more color. Um, you do what you'd like to do. So I don't know if you thought of anybody that you might want to give your painting to. Giving away your art is such a beautiful gift. Uh, no pun intended, but it really is. To be able to give somebody something that you've made with your own hand is wonderful. People appreciate it so much. 
And it might seem a little scary because, well, when you make it yourself, there's a lot of there's a lot of judgment, self-judgment that goes into it, and the fears that other people might not find it to be as beautiful as you want it to be. Just let go of those things. Those are thoughts that don't serve you. Um, being in the moment in that way is not what I'm talking about. When I say being in the moment, it's being in the in the moment of something beautiful, enjoyment, finding pleasure in an activity that is wholesome and healthy for you. Being in the presence of those that you love, those kind of things are meaningful and lifelong blessings and gifts. All right, so we're almost done with this. If you feel like you're done, step away. Let it dry, all the things. Um, I'm just wanting to add in some green, making sure that I have you know, some of these lines defined since I did go back in and add in some leaves. And I did want to add in a little bit of a stem for this rose. I felt like it deserved a stem, maybe a few more stems for some of these guys over here who are just floating out in space. But I thank you so much for being here. I really help or hope that this was helpful. Again, leave me a comment if you have any ideas or thoughts on how you deal with being in the moment and being in the present. Helping each other out by sharing ideas is a great way that we can learn in these spaces together. I'm just gonna take a little bit of clean water and just allow these some of these edges here to bleed. With this rose, I felt like the edges were just really kind of too harsh. And you can allow things to bleed too, that's okay. That's the cool thing about an abstract painting like this. You can even take a large brush. This has some blue on it. So we're just gonna clean that up a little bit. And then we're just gonna take some of this purple paint. I just wanted to add a little bit of splatter and this is how you do it. Just tap your brush, add that splatter. You're gonna splatter your face too and that's okay. So thanks for being here guys. I hope you enjoy this abstract painting. Uh, I can't wait to see you guys again on the next video. Take care. Oh, 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 oh,